Over the past two years, I've been racing triathlons. So far now, I've raced a total of seven triathlons. And after each one, I've learned something completely different. But slowly, I've been getting better and more confident in my approach. So I raced the Folsom Lake Triathlon. This was my seventh triathlon that I've ever raced in my life. And I've been training and racing for triathlons for a little bit over two years now. And every time I go to a triathlon and I race, I learn something so new. And I have a, such a different experience after each one of them. And mainly what I'm looking for whenever I go out and race a triathlon is not only for a better performance overall, but I'm trying to get a better understanding of how my body reacts under different race situations, under different environments and different courses. And I'm just trying to get a general feeling of what it's like to race in this new sport that I have just started. So I started off on the swim with the idea in mind that I was going to swim my own race. I'm a weak swimmer and so open water swimming is doubly as tough for me. What I've learned is that not only do I, of course, need to get better in the pool and swim more volume, but it is very advantageous for me to get into racing situations in the water, open water racing, and getting comfortable with being around other people, getting comfortable with siding, being comfortable in a wetsuit is a big, big thing. Uh, trying to understand how my stroke is going to change when I'm in the open water and when I'm wearing a wetsuit. And so my main concern is about staying calm and trying to control my breathing, trying to control my form, and trying to keep a clear head. A lot of times in when I used to race, you know, in running and in track and field and cross country, you weren't too concerned about um, trying to stay too calm or trying to focus too much on your surroundings or anything. You were just trying to race as fast as you could. But in swimming, it's a little bit different. You want to be a little bit more um, mindful and you want to be a little bit more cognizant. So you can't just, or at least I can't right now, just rail it all out like uh and so this was a pretty good swim for my level i think i swam around a 24 30 something 24 30 24 30 something so i got out and i headed onto the bike and it was a pretty standard pretty easy transition for me um i don't really struggle too much in transitions uh i'm pretty efficient i think uh you can always get better and out onto the bike I was feeling really strong. Uh, I've made a lot of improvements uh, in the bike scene uh, for my fit and uh, for my position. So everything was actually feeling really good. I got a new bike saddle that I've been using. I finally got, I got a new bike fit, like professionally fitted. And so everything was feeling really good. And I was, I felt like I was flying. I was going pretty fast. I got a new helmet as well. And unfortunately, <clears throat> we did not take a right turn and the course wasn't marked um, at all, actually, and uh, missed the turn. So overall, ended up doing an extra six miles with a bunch of other people. Um, but I wasn't really too stressed out about it because this isn't really much of too, con it's not really much of concern for me. I knew I was, I, I'm biking fast, I knew I was biking fast, I knew I was feeling good, and so I just sought to finish out the race like you would finish out any other race, and so I ended up probably with a 22 mile per hour average, which over like, it was like 36, 32 miles, sorry, which over 32 miles is fine for me, uh, 
you know, considering that I had to stop, slow down, figure out where I actually had to go, and then I kind of soft pedaled back to the uh, back to the course and figured out, okay, this is where I need to go. Considering all those things is actually a really good bike effort for me. And once I transitioned onto the run, uh, I wasn't expecting it. I knew it was going to be a trail run. I did not expect it to uh, to be as hilly as I thought it was going to be. And so it wasn't a super fast uh, run course of, um, definitely not a super fast run course, uh, but those those hills definitely really hurt the legs. So it made me think maybe I got to do some more hills off the bike uh, on, a, on a run uh, to prepare for that better. Um, but, you know, I probably, you'll see, I average about probably 630 per mile on a trail run, uh, which it was fine. Probably one of the faster runs. Um, and considering the hills, uh, for effort pace, it was probably fine, and I wasn't going all out anyways uh, after the bike incident, so it was still, uh, you know, there was really no point to go all out anyways, um, but I was still going at race pace effort, um, just not really, like, wanting to dig myself into into any sort of wells or caves or whatever you, you want to call it. Like I said, the main thing I'm here to race for is to learn how to race triathlons and to get more frequency in and so that I can get more experiences behind me so that I know what is coming and I know what to expect. I know the routine of everything. Everything's not novel. I'm getting used to the tactics and, and what people do and what gear people use. And, and that's also another thing, just accumulating gear. Like, I, I can't just go out and buy all the best gear, but I, I'm i starting to get some better gear now that I've been doing it for a couple of years. So now I'm at a spot where I feel good about my gear. You know, it's not the best, but it's getting me from start to finish fast enough right now. So that was my experience at the Folsom Lake Triathlon. My main focus heading into this year is the age group nationals. So everything that I'm doing, everything that I'm training for is leading up to that. I'm just trying to get faster. That's it. I'm just trying to do more volume. That's it. More training, more intensity, and uh, more racing. So thanks for watching this video. I'll catch you guys soon.